Would limiting the age of the president to 65 be something you'd support? Why or why not? Why stop at the presidency? How about for all elected officials, more importantly, the unelected officials? I loved RBG but 80s and 90s is too ducking old to be on the Supreme Court. 80s and 90s is too ducking old to be on the Supreme Court. In Ireland Supreme Court judges have to retire at the age of 70, in US, at least our state, doctors over age 70 have to do competency tests, the president sets the precedent. 65 is when it's time for people to retire. Sit down, make room, live out your days in peace. Set that tone for the American people. Agreed. If the average American is expected to retire around 65, why not the president? I think the U.S. should implement a ranked choice voting system. I think that will have a much bigger impact on our political system, this concept is carrying more and more weight with me lately. My beef with presidential elections is that by the time I get any say, Pennsylvania, all I get to do is pick which is the lesser of two evils, a binary decision laid in front of me I really want to see the panic on politicians' faces, after the first major election with ranked choice. The Republicans and the Democrats would almost certainly still win but I feel like finding out that both parties are more people's second, pick than first would terrify them. See I bet they already know this and that's why they will block any initiative to switch to a ranked voting system. But I'm a big pessimist, if anyone is a citizen of the US and not a pessimist at this point, they aren't paying attention. Yes, absolutely. Both Joe Biden and Donald Trump are way too old to be president. So was Reagan when he ran 40 plus years ago, hell, I'd even go further and cap the ages for all elected officials at 65. Yeah, even arguments about mental fitness aside, I think we should limit to candidates who would at least be reasonably expected to spend a couple decades in whatever world they create. I like your reasoning, ironically the best bet to getting something like this implemented would have been electing Bernie, y'all coulda had a bad bitch. Good point about living in the world they create, but not a strong enough argument for me. There are plenty of 66-year-olds who are extremely sharp and have extensive experience that would benefit us. And there are 55-year-old unqualified idiots. The determining factor should not be age, gender, race, etc. It should be an educated electorate that says this person no longer has the capacity to do the job for us. It's a shame we would never agree on third-party medical experts to determine a person's fitness to lead. Because as we all know those experts have human weaknesses as well and their impartiality would always be questioned. All politicians should fuck off the second they hit retirement age. Those who would hit it during their term shouldn't be allowed to run for office, yes, I would. And if you need to know why just look at Joe Biden, Donald Trump, and Dianne Feinstein to name a few. This country has way too many geriatrics running it. You are absolutely right. People who are in their 70s now were just starting adulthood in the 1970s. They will be having very limited knowledge about the issues faced by today's generation, case in point, Finland. Their current PM, Sana Marin, is just 36 and is very popular among the Finns. She is looking to cut the work week to four days, six hours each, meanwhile. America is having to choose between two boomers who are well into retirement every election. I don't see how we could determine that 65 is the magic number for such a cutoff, people age at different rates. There are folks with dementia in their 40s and some 90 years olds are still sharp as a needle. The better question to discuss is how to fix the way the executive is chosen. Is there a way to do this that would tend to yield better executives and stop putting partisan hacks in office?